This situation needs to be seriously addressed in this video, because over the past few days, Iyuna and her fanbase have accused me of some of the most deplorable things, and attempted to smear my reputation as much as they could with the lies they have received from countless people. This video will completely invalidate every claim thrown at me, while also bringing up Iyuna's unprofessionalism in the situation, including her questionable actions in a plethora of situations, and her moderators and her gross negligence to remove illegal explicit material from her server, hours after it was originally posted, such as videos of bestiality and child porn. Ever since my video came out highlighting Iyuna's use of over-sexualized assets in her thumbnail to drive more clicks and attention from people by either showing two characters engaging in sexual intercourse or other questionable matters, I also had highlighted her immaturity by showing uncensored Roblox porn to minors when Roblox was experiencing the outage. At this time, hordes of children were browsing Twitter, wondering what happened to Roblox, and Iyuna felt it would be perfectly fine to show images of uncensored Roblox genitalia, in which resulted in many children telling her to delete the post to no avail. Now many people have gotten the claim quote unquote satire misconstrued. The actual provided definition is the use of humour, irony and exaggeration or ridicule to expose and criticise people's stupidity. This definition does not equate to saturating your younger fans with over sexualized thumbnails just so you can get more views and clicks and it certainly does not negate the fact you posted porn to a situation where many minors were wondering what was happening regarding Roblox. Now due to this, Iuna felt it was necessary to splurge on Twitter, making multiple tweets just flat out lying about me and my content, to try and avoid all accountability for what she did, and to try and divert the hate mob back to me. One of the most damning claims she tried to fabricate is that I'm a pedophile. With a plethora of her deluded fanbase trying to lie and defame me to others, after spreading a video from my mutual called Ice Cream, who uploaded a video as a joke, either people are simply brain dead, or they desperately will grab onto any claim they want to try and drag my reputation into the mud. Even when people claim the video was so obviously cropped and edited and made in a joking fashion, people were claiming they were pedophile defenders. Now, I have no idea if these people get a sick satisfaction out of slandering other creators because they believe it's quote unquote satire, but unprofessionally using your platform to spread potentially career ending lies just to try and bite back at someone is disgusting and immoral. The entire tone of Ice Cream's video was an obvious joke and it wouldn't take Einstein to figure it out. And many people were also clearly poking fun at the situation. What Iuna tries to do is edit the video clips of me without Ice Cream's input to try and shift the narrative and make it look like I legitimately said this to minors. When in reality, I was either reading people's messages in Scrimsox's server in the public voice chat call or singing the song I used in my Amor Ultra video. I, I sent, I sent a <laughs> fuck to a minor. Yeah, that's literally him saying he sent a fuck to a minor. Like, what the fuck, Parlo? And if you don't believe it, here's a fucking clip of him even admitting to it. I have actually 20 minors who came out against me. I am actually the 27 year old man who looks like Willy Wonka. Now, you know, clearly I had to fucking own this guy. I had to fucking put him in his place. I had to fucking put my balls in his jaws and just completely own him. So here's, it's not serious, but here's that clip real quick. Well, so does Rats. Wait, I don't think she, wait, she, Rats works at Wendy's, I think. Wendy's balls fit in your mouth. The difference between this situation and the Beanie PD to plays situation is that you can obviously differentiate the fake screenshots of D to plays from out of context clips of me trying to read out people's messages. And even worse, if Yuna's fans are actually attempting to trick or failing to trick people into thinking I'm a pedophile, it is still disgusting. The screenshots Beanie P made regarding Dita were obviously faked, with everyone pretending like it was real. In this situation, Iuna generally tries to push the motive I unironically grew minors. Keep in mind, the comments I made were literally edgy jokes, and there is no proof whatsoever that I've done anything of what her and her fans claim. If those kind of jokes aren't your cup of tea, that's perfectly fine. But if you go out your way to reach and try and claim I've done something illegal, that is pathetic and disgusting. And even worse, if Iuna's fans actually tricked or are attempting to trick people at least into thinking I'm a pedophile, that is disgusting.
And what makes this whole drama even better is that they're attempting to glorify fat Roblox of all people. I genuinely want this video to be as truthful as possible. So yes, I did say the F slur and I'm super sorry to everyone in the LGBT community. It was all an act of defense and I'm just super sorry because I did not know at the time what that word fully meant. Like I genuinely do not know but that does not justify my actions because I should have taken the time to research and educate myself about words before I actually use them as someone. I'm really sorry and I genuinely hope that you guys can forgive me because I have taken the time to reflect and some of this has really affected me mentally so i'm just really like open and ready to become a better person the same person who has sent gore and porn to us when we were all minors while throwing every single slur she could articulate there is a whole 60 page google document me and my friends have made on this but in no surprise at all is fat roblox attempting to yet again hop into a drama completely unrelated to her because she has been harassing me on alternate accounts for months now, making fun of my appearance and other such claims. I've made countless videos exposing fat Roblox. She has done so much harm in this community. She's posted images of dead bodies, used Technoblade's cancer for commercial gain by spamming her social links on said video, or even illegally tried to full strike my video with a burner email. That's right, she used a burner email to attempt to send a fraudulent strike to my channel. Because Iyun is trying to present Fat as some queen and innocent person in this situation. Ah yes, innocent. When to this day she is still swearing and insulting people who don't take her side. How wonderful. Harlow the ugly fat bitch. Hope you die bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you, Parlo. Iyuna's fans are now attempting to bring up the 6 month old claim that I doxed Fat Roblox when she sent a full strike to my channel and Google gave me her email so I could potentially press charges. Fat Roblox is lucky I didn't. Also she's very lucky that the email she used to send the full strike wasn't terminated along with the associated account. And additionally, no one is stupid enough to use their own personal email to send a full strike claiming the video hurt their feelings. Oh, but what a surprise, Fat Roblox, who is well known in the community for lying about countless creators and making disgusting thumbnails because it's the only thing that gets her views, is actually friends with none other than Iyuna. Because Fat Roblox needs the views she'll get from this drama to try and revive her ghost of a channel. Perhaps Iyuna is unaware that I'm autistic. So therefore, how am I being ableist in the slightest by saying a word I can claim? Oh, and you may be wondering who I was calling an arsler. Well, when you find out who I was actually saying it to, you'd realise they're probably one of the most disgusting people on this entire planet. The same with the F slur, as she is desperately trying to present me as a homophobe when I'm literally a homoflexible bisexual, so I can claim the slur. And I never even stated it with homophobic intent, because this was all in a private server with my YouTuber friends, but I digress. With the plethora of heavily out of context screenshots Iyuna is attempting to use against me, I debunked every single one in the fat Roblox document, so why should I bother repeating what I've stated 10 times over now? Here are the screenshots of my rebuttals to said screenshots. Some of the screenshots and claims Iyuna tries to fling at me are straight up pathetic, and you can tell she's legitimately trying to dig up dirt on me and failing miserably. Now, here's a quick fire round where I invalidate her smaller claims against me. Her claiming I impersonated her is untrue. Me and my friends were using her profile picture as a meme. I'm allowed to do that. And I've never changed my name or bio once as a way to try and make it look like I was her. So I have no idea why she brought this up. Then apparently uh, showing a picture of EDP and making a meme out of it because I saw it in Sunny V2's video means I don't take grooming seriously. When Iyuna has not once ever called out a Roblox groomer and predators unlike myself. When I literally spent 9 months straight trying to get the community to be aware of what Faith has been doing behind the scenes. It's very clear she's grasping at straws here. And there is a difference between comedy and reality Iyuna. I think you need to process that. 
And also, if what you said was morally accepted, shouldn't every single account making memes about it, which literally increases the publicity to the situation, which is inherently a good thing, should be called out too? Why just me? My mutual Scrimzox and Ice Cream have made videos about Faith. Are they in the wrong as well? No. Because the point you're trying to bring up, the point you're trying so desperately to use against me, does not make any sense in the slightest. Oh wait, it's because if you are going down, you want others to go down with you too, because that's your mentality. Like when you brought Milk Dead and Video Thumbnail Designer into the matter for no reason whatsoever, or Scrimzox. You love to drag other people through the mud, because you can't take accountability yourself. And it's also funny how my video on Yuna gets age restricted, because she and her fans obviously reported it after she pinged her entire Discord server. How does my video get age restricted by simply showing her thumbnails, but the videos with her thumbnails still remain up and untouched on YouTube perfectly fine? Pretty suspicious stuff going on here. And then, yet again, she uses the classic, Paolo hates his fans and only uses them for money and views, when I have lost $6,000 from YouTube and I'm still demonetized and I haven't earned a cent from it in over a month. And yet I'm still doing YouTube, doing daily uploads, so I have no idea what point she's trying to insinuate here. Quite embarrassing to say the least. And the last point she mainly prioritises is the fact that I'm a hypocrite, and shows screenshots of my thumbnails in which are questionable at most. None have any not safe for work assets in them, unlike Yuina's thumbnails, which are purposely edited to look over sexualized to get more clicks. The thumbnail I use are from actual assets which have been allowed through Roblox moderation, some which even big YouTubers have covered, and in my videos covering such situations, I have got many assets banned, and a few words even tagged by Roblox moderation. My videos are to get these assets banned, clearly by Yuina's mentality, her videos are to promote such, like how to get a boyfriend on Roblox. My thumbnails are questionable at most, but hers are just over sexualized. There's zero comparison, and there's no hypocrisy. So that is about it when it comes to the false claims strewn against me. I will probably expect more in the future, but I will try my best to ignore it, but I just couldn't stand for the defamation and career damaging lies which many people were starting to believe. Now in this drama, I will be more mature than Iuna in this situation, and encourage no fans to attack her, harass her, or do anything of the sort. You are no better than her fans who do the same to us if you do attack her. This drama is pretty embarrassing, and if Iuna is to go forward with this, giving a voice to fat Roblox is a massive mistake. Anyway, this video is intended only for educational and informative purposes. This video is not intended for harassment or hate speech, and please spread this video around the Roblox community so my side gets heard. I will make a part 2 if the situation gets worse. Make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye. Hey there guys, Fave here, and today we're going to be collabing with Pedophile Gaming. Why did you leak our staff team? Can chill, bro. Chill. I didn't know she was 12. <laughs> what? What?